You guys ready to do some gold mining, huh? Well, before we do that, I'm gonna give you a class on geology. What do you think about that, huh? Well, then you better smash that like button, son. Smash it hard. Piece of float. There's another one right here. Of course, it's bull quartz because there's nothing in it. But if you follow it up the hill, it leads you to a vein up there. Oh, look at that. That's nice. More float, and it's got some iron staining in it too. That's always good. There's another piece right there. Can you tell me what that is, huh? It's all over the place. It's a piece of altered andesite. It's got a lot of olivine in there, epidote, piercine. It's beautiful. What's that? Isn't that pretty? It's black, it's heavy, and it's magnetic. If you said magnetite, then give yourself an A+. All right, let's keep going. I got other stuff to show you. Now, what is this? Take a good look at it. Look at these huge phenocrysts growing inside of it. And look at that. I've got biotite mica all running through there. See it, that black mica? What is this? This big old honky chonky monkey. There's a can dump over there. There's cans everywhere. Look at that. Can you guys guess what it is I'm close to, huh? This should be a no brainer for most of you out there. All right, let's keep on going. Ooh, look at that. What do you think that is, huh? Do you see the pink case bars in there, right there? That should be a dead giveaway what that is. Ooh, I know you know what that is, come on. Fine grain, igneous, heavy, black. Now that's an interesting specimen of a mineral. Ooh, it looks like a water tank was here. And that looks like an old mercury barrel. You know, I tell the, the mercury barrels because they have this metal rib here, here and here because mercury's so heavy, they could roll it on its side. More water tanks, see that? See this? What do you think this is? All right, now most of you out there probably think, Jeff, that's nothing more than a red clump of mud or red clay. No, it's not. This is a lot of information right here. This tells me that they were milling their own ore. This is not mine dump. This is tailings. And it tells me that the ore was traveling in some type of a vein structure that had hematite in it or limonite. And that's what I should be looking for. And if they're milling their own ore out here in the middle of nowhere, that means that that ore must be extremely rich and free mill. It's exactly what you should be looking for too. And remember, mines make mine dumps, mills make tailings, okay? Don't forget that. You see what I see? Beautiful corpse vein right there. You see it? And what's that? That's heavily stained hematite in this granite. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, so that tells me that whatever gold they were getting is in this material, especially where it's heavily stained. But it looks like BLM's been here too. Look at that. Yeah, see those back gates over there? See the mine dumps? All that beautiful red stained granite and you can see the vein right there too oh yeah there's a stope see the stalls yeah they were getting some good material out of here and there's the hanging wall and the foot wall you should know what those are and i can see the the ore material that they were chasing a little bit over there and especially it's well defined over there you see that oh that looks tasty looks like they had an incline Going down, you can see a little bit of opening down there. You can see that the uh, vein has about a 75 to 80 degree dip to it. See that? Isn't that beautiful, huh? Ooh, look at that. Now you can see why they were here. Somebody found this outcropping. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. So pretty. Oh. oh, doesn't that look so good? Mmm, look at that, just a big old fat vein running down the hill, baby. Look at that. 
Oh, there's some more shafts. Look at that. They cut into it right there. You see that? Oh, that is pretty. You can see where they've got adits. And I think another shaft down there. Of course, there's back gates there. And you can see the vein structure. See it? Running right there. All the way down. At about a 75, 80 degree dip. It's got an east-west strike to it. Let's take a look at this stuff. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, look at that. Is it any wonder they were mining here? And from what I read, this is extremely high grade. I mean, just look at it. Just gobs and gobs of iron stained quartz with tons and tons of hematite, magnetite mixed into the mix. Just solid iron. Oh. Yeah, you can see where they've been tunneling out here and they've got little cross cuts into this vein. And I bet as it goes deeper, it gets richer. Ooh, and that's why they were sinking that incline over there to get up underneath this. I bet you they got a high grade pile around here somewhere. See this cross cut right into the vein? Ooh, isn't that pretty? Oh, that is so pretty. So what I want you to do is, like I said, if you find these out in the middle of nowhere, Look for a high grade pile. It'll be really obvious. It'll be a stack of rocks right next to either the portal or the collar of the shaft. Like I said, it's always a good sign when you see a mill on site because that means that the ore was so rich that they could afford to mill it on location. They didn't have to ship it out. All right, I want to take a look around some more. This is beautiful material. And then I'm going to take you into the drift mine. Cause I got some stuff in there that's just gonna knock your socks off. You better smash that like button, son. Smash it hard, harder than that. Now, if you guys like that and you wanna learn more geology, we wrote a book, Where to Find Gold. So watch to the end of the video and I'm gonna show you how you can get your own. Mucked out three ton of material. Now this is our flatbed. See that? And we're gonna go ahead and build an actual box on top of this that dumps into our shaft sinking bucket, our skip bucket. All right, you can see we extended our rails all the way down to the bottom here so our bucket has something to ride on. And then we built, built these little rungs here so that we can climb out of here because it's starting to get deep. Oh, you're thinking, Jeff, that's all good and fun, but what's the big news? What's gonna knock my socks off? Take a look at this. Remember when we were dropping our sump down so we could get our shaft sinking bucket all the way down underneath this track? And we hit some voids and pockets down there with red clay, you remember that? Now you remember we sampled it and it had little bits of gold in it, right? Well, I want you to see this because I can't even believe it. Take a look at this. See all that red clay that I'm standing on? It's a thick, thick seam of it. And it's got little gravels all mixed in with it. Now here's the interesting part right here. You see this drill? See this bit? It's about maybe 12 inches deep, right? Watch this. Look at that. Red all the way down, you see that? 
it just drops right in. Do I got your attention now, son of Jim? That's right, when the drill goes down, it's like it's puncturing through layers and it actually drops, like there's a void down there. I'm a little bit nervous. I might have to put on some fall protection just to make sure it don't drop through. I'm standing on at least a foot of solid clay base that has little pieces of gold running through it. So what are we gonna do about it? Well, what do you think we're gonna do about it? I'm gonna dig out a big slice of it. We're gonna bag it up in these sandbags here and then we're gonna run it through a wash plant because I wanna know what's in it. And I know you wanna know what's in it. And then I got a big surprise for you after that. So make sure you continue to watch because you're really gonna wanna know this. Just look at all that red dirt. Nothing but, and it's still going down. I tell you what, who needs a gym? Just be a gold miner. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish filling up all these sandbags, and we're gonna run it up to the surface, run it through the wash plant, and see what pops out. Cause I know you wanna know, and I wanna know too, what's in this stuff, and it keeps dropping down. I'm afraid the bottom's gonna fall out. So, oh, and don't forget, I got a big surprise for you at the very end, so keep watching. And if you wanna know how to get one of those books. All right, let's go ahead and get this stuff bagged and tagged and up to the surface so we can find out what's in it, cause I really wanna know and i want to know what's down below here too i have a feeling it's going to drop through got all the bags filled up and it's still going down i told you to knock your socks off <sighs> All right, son of Jim, we're gonna run five bags through, see what comes out of that red clay. Cause I know you wanna know and I wanna know too. But before we do, you better smash that like button, smash it hard. Let's see what's in those bunkers.
You're gonna get wet. All right, let's go ahead and shut it down. See what we got. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, look at all that. I don't see anything in there, do you? Ah, oh, look at that, one of my screws. <laughs> All right, let's pull it out and take a look inside the box. Ah. No, I am. Ooh, that's a heavy box. Oh, that's a heavy box. Oh. All right, come here, look at this. Oh, there's a piece of gold right there, see it? Right there. There's a piece of gold right there. So we know we didn't get skunked. Oh, and there's one way down inside of there. I was hoping to see something up in here. I got my screw back. All right, you know the drill. Pull the box apart, top piece over there, rest of it down in the bucket, okay? I'll tell you what, the cleanups are the most exciting part, aren't it? Ooh, I just love opening this box up. Little tiny pieces of gold all throughout this V matting, this deep V matting. See that? All in through there. Little tiny one there. I want to know what's up in here. All oh, that material there. A lot of black sand. You see all that black sand? All the way down to here. Look at that. That's nice. I don't see any big chunkies. Just little tiny pieces. Feast your eyes on that there, son of boy. And there's some really weird green gold in there too. I don't understand that, like electrum. And it's all fine pieces too. There's nothing big and chunky. I'm wondering if, if we get down far enough, if there is an impervious zone where all that clay is sitting on top of, if there'll be super nuggets sitting on top of that. Because if there's this much fine through all that clay, imagine what's settled down to the bottom. If there is a bottom, it might just open up and drop out. All right, I know, keep your pants on. I said that I had something special to tell you at the very end of the video about how to get that book. You ready? Well, here it comes. Every speck of gold that we mine out of that drift mine goes where? To our premium patrons. It's just our way of saying thank you for helping us keep the dream alive. So the big surprise is this, that we're gonna be giving some of that red dirt away just the way it is to some of our premium patrons. Now, if this sounds like something you wanna be a part of, all you gotta do is look for the little icon at the end of the video that looks something like looks like that click on it make a ten dollar pledge and you're in like Flynn and with gold prices pushing nineteen hundred dollars an ounce you'd be crazy not to want to become a premium patron and if you do sign up as a premium patron you get access to this book it's got 30 years of experience packed into it and the graphics are incredible I guarantee you're gonna love it well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, smash that like button. Smash it hard, boy. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and subscribe, because I guarantee you're going to love it here. And not only that, I'll teach you how to cook cowboy-style eggs and beans. What do you think about that? Well, I'm going to get on out of here, so until next time, this is Jeff Williams and who? My name is Jeff. You better know who, son. Saying you love that juicy red clay, because it carries that AU. We'll sign up as a premium patron, son, and you could get some of that, too. Take care, everybody.